Welcome back. I hope you've been listening uh, in this session. The first contest is now open. Please click to the contest tab on the right hand side of the homepage and take the contest and win the exciting gifts we have for you. We now welcome our next speaker, Mr. Hassan Abdul Ali, General Manager of Service Delivery and Project Management Office at Oman Data Park. He's going to present uh, the Cloud Transformation Roadmap. To you, Mr. Hassan. Thank you, Monica. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ladies and gentlemen, very good morning. Welcome to Oman Data Park Digital Enablement Summit and Cloud Transformation of 2021. Actually, uh, I would like to take you the journey today uh, of the cloud transformation. There are different uh, variables and different choices within the cloud transformation. Uh, some of the slides have already been shared with my, uh, by my colleagues, uh, Said, but I'll not take a lot of time. I just cross by fast. Though we have three data centers across the mark, but the choices here for you is you can put your workload within a comb data center as a primary, and you can put your DR in Wataya, or vice versa, or you can put uh, your primary workload in comb and the just to let me just share it for you. So you can put your primary workload here and you choose your disaster here or vice versa, or you can put your primary here and DR here. So these three data centers are interconnected by a fiber where you can you spread out your complete your primary workload or even the disaster workload in any direction you would like to have. So let's start, what is cloud? Actually, if you uh, ask any of the uh, IT people, what is the cloud? You'll find different, different answers, honestly speaking. But let's simplify this. Cloud is nothing, it's a computing environment which is hosting million, perhaps a billion of devices from mainframe, supercomputer, HCI, and, and edge devices, all in a way through the internet that simplifies the communication and utilization, the power of all these eco environment ecosystems. So cloud is simplifying for you the process to, to home your entire data processing and workload across the world. You know, irrelevant if your workload is primarily set in a primary data center and spread across secondary data center or vice versa, or it's been primarily hosted in Oman and secondary hosted across the, across the you know, another regions, so that's the choice, it's up to you. Now, <clears throat> we know there are many big players right now in the market, such as AWS, Amazon, uh, Google, GCP, uh, Azure, and many other IBM also. So these big players have maybe 50 or 60 data centers across the world. So in Oman, we started, we have right now three. Hopefully we are building the fourth one, which is coming in next, <clears throat> hopefully one year's time. So data center has been built across the country and giving you the you know, freedom to host your finance application, your databases, your networking, your block storages, your object, and many and hundreds of applications, if not thousands. This is a very clear snapshot how these data centers today is being modeled. You know, within this kind of array of the data center, you'll, you'll find a lot of different sectors hosting their environment, or oil and gas, telecom, banking, insurance, healthcare, it's, it is not advisable right now to build your own data center. If you have it, then fine. But if the operating cost and capitalization of these technologies to host your computing environment is very, very, very costly. So now cloud came to reduce these operations overhead and give you a full freedom of building your applications. <clears throat> so why cloud? Actually cloud, number one is scalability. If you look to any ordinary environment of data centers, once you capitalize your data center equipment from the hardware, let's say compute and network and storages, you cannot downgrade that because you paid upfront, you capitalize it. So scaling, you have only one choice, scale up. But in cloud, you can scale up and scale down. It's on demand. What you consume, you have to pay. So you can scale up compute and memory and storage and network up to your choice or different type of workload. And number two, 
very important, it's a global presence. So when Oman Data Park is offering cloud service, that's not necessarily you have to be hosted in Oman. Rather than you can be, you can get consumed anywhere across the world. We have a lot of applications being already consumed by our partners. They are across the board. Some of them are in US, some of them even are in Europe. And it's very important to, to mention that is it's a robust network. It's of completely running on internet. So the high availability and different route of cross the networking is very much considered within the cloud environment. So of course, much higher scalab scalability and protection for the networking when you consider uh, cloud networking rather than your enterprise networking. And it's worth to mention it's fully automated. So it's automated from the all layers, which I'm going to show you in the, the coming slides, that you don't need to pay attention and headaches how to manage and automate all of these uh, uh, data center components. <clears throat> this slide is very important. I would like your full, full attention. This is the journey how I can start the cloud. If you see, uh, if I can try to uh, simplify that, just a minute. If you look this portion, now here, actually, you are taking your on-prem completely uh, data center equipments, which is chiller, HVAC, generator, UPS, access control. All of these technologies, you have to up front build it and you have to have proper liquidity in order to set it up. Then after that, you start acquiring, purchasing server, network storages, and again, go to the software layer, you have to virtualize it. You have to put a different platform and data. Finally, your, your, your focus is here. So you're building all these layers in order to operate this. So what we are telling you, we are taking you in a steps. We're saying, fine, you already maybe you already have purchased a couple of items, a couple of equipments, and you, you don't want now to waste that. Fine, come here as a data center as a service. So what you have done, you have cut off this and you completely come in operating model. So a lot of companies, like even some of the banks, some of the telecom, they came and started utilizing the data center facilities of Oman Data Park. So we're offering different type of the power from three kilowatt to six kilowatt to 10 kilowatt, even 20 kilowatt for HPC. That's also scalable for you up to your choice. So when you come here, you green, when, you, when it comes green, your cost is very much minimized. And I'll give you some of the figures. But still you have here, to maintain yourself. You have your own server, your own network storages, and your virtualization OS and data and application. When you step forward, infrastructure, when you hear infrastructure as a server or a ser infrastructure as a service, what you're doing, you're even giving off the completely hardware components, including the virtualization. So you say, I don't want to buy any servers. I don't want to buy any networks. I don't want to buy any storages. Even I don't care about virtualization. I only care about my platforms and data and application. And here also is scalable up and down, up to your choice. Maybe at this, for, for our research purposes, you need, let's say 15 uh, VMs with different kinds of specification. You consume it after that, you finish, shut it down and go away. Now, when you come as the platform as a service, the value of here of operating system, you're paying is PLA. Supply is like Microsoft, you, you're acquiring licenses on rental basis rather than perpetual, which you're purchasing here. Here, you per, you're buying the license perpetual, but here, no, you consume the licenses for one month, two months, one year, and that's very, very cheap. So if you go step by step, the cost will go down and you care about data and application. When you come application as a service, you don't care anything. You say, I want to consume the application. I'll give you an example of that. Even you don't go and license the software. Let's say, for example, you want to use an email environment. So there's one way. I build for you platforms and I put your dedicated licenses for you and protect it. And then I do a manage for you. And that's going to cost the license up to you up front. But when you come here, you say, no, I don't care about it. I want 200 mailbox and 300 mailbox. I want to consume it from day one. And tomorrow you have more users to come on board. You just scale it up. So here you care about your requirement of the application. And here are many examples we have. Exchange, for example, we have also uh, e-sign, we have tendering process, 
And there are lists of applications which we're going to show it in the coming slides. So this slide is very important across the journey. With that have been said, it's very important to understand that what if I need an HPC, a high performance computing? So we are also in 2021 this year, we are offering HPC at infrastructure, at platform, and also we'll present to you some of the models or applications as well. So here is a very potential business for you if you consider HPC as well. Now, let's go about the cost. The, our, our record shows the, the one who's coming to us from the data center facilities perspective, he's cost cutting operating with, the, of course, there's no capitalization. Capitalization has been already wiped out from the day one, from the, at the time we signed the agreement. We don't need to build the data center. So there's no capex. Here, 30% of his operating cost is being gone off. When it comes to the infrastructure as a service, it's a 35% to 40% operating cost has gone away. The more he go higher to the towards step by step, the, the return is coming in more and cost of and, and cost of sales going down. 45% is cost cut off when you come platform as a, as a service. And above 50% when you come as an application. We are in a very, you know, uh, congested economic situation. This model is helping a lot of customers. Our record showing for the last two years, the transformation which is happening to Oman data bar succeeding also, uh, you know, 500 customer corporate on board, oil and gas, telecom, banking, airline, insurance, you know, uh, healthcare, many, many sectors coming day after day transforming, choosing some of them comes a data center, some of them coming as an infrastructure, some of them are coming as a platform and pick and choose. Now here, in this slides, what, you, what we're trying to show you here is, <clears throat> now we're taking responsibility of all these equipments and we're giving you a freedom just to, to consider up, up to your application. So for example, if you want Oracle ARP and you want to run it on Hyper-V, that's fine. If you want to run Windows with the F5, pick and choose with the solar winds, fine, it's up to you. Whatever applications you require, it's a, it's a big catalog within our one data park services, we have to, you have to choose. There's two ways also you consider. Now, when you're focusing here, I told you application as service, even we are offering some of them, like mails we offer for you, okay? Some of the, uh, like uh, right now, we are hopefully trying to present uh, some of the AI application as well, surveillance we can do for you as well. So. Some of the applications we can offer as a software, and some of them even can be consumed as a dedicated model, which you prefer to have it up to your standards. So with that said, all these headaches is going away. Some of the startup companies, when they start joining Oman Data Park, their operations came up in two or three days time. And uh, my, uh, my colleague said also highlighted that this disruption happened during the pandemic. We managed to offer the services to our big clients and mainly it was uh, healthcare uh, for the Royal Oman Hospital doctors, where doctor was sitting at homes, uh, seeing uh, completely the Shifa application, which is uh, Royal Oman Hospital's uh, healthcare systems. At the same time, they are opening one-to-one -one session with their uh, patient and start uh, uh, trying to uh, do an e-clinic with, the, with their patients and servicing them. That was one of the business case. Another one, of, of course, was banking. Some of the banks have approached us and they said, how oh, you can help us? And that took us three to five days. We completely staged their environment and completely secure has been considered with two-factor two authentication and their end users start consuming the banking application while you're sitting at home. So imagine uh, with the, all of these parameters, which is and challenges across this technology, Oman Data Park have a complete empowerment and enablement for you to transform you into the cloud. We are telling you here, we can help you of all these layers, even to this layer. Now, the choice is yours, but the, the, the model we are offering here as a cloud, remember, is deferred. Now, the, the, there's a the slide are going to come up. The transition happening in application platform is completely cloud-based model. And this is very important to have to consider upfront right now. Right, so uh, let's talk about why digital transformation to cloud. This is very important slide. 
and I've been asking, uh, I've been asked a couple of times, why I should do cloud transformation? Number one, remember the application modernization today is happening completely started building on, on cloud. It's a cloud code and cloud runtime. So all the legacy application, the monolithic environment is completely going to be break down in the microservices in order to, to fit in the ecosystem of, of the cloud model. So we, we, we have this environment right now. Oman Data Park already have this environment. And we can seamlessly offer if you, for you the cloud runtime, the cloud code. For example, Azure is there as well, one of them. Okay, we have VMware also on board. We have Oracle Cloud also, Oracle uh, technology on board. We have a lot of open system environment, up to you. You want, even some of the corporate was 4,500 end users and we completely migrated them. And some can be even a, a student in the lab and he wants to consume the cloud model and that's also a choice. So cloud framework is very much today is going into open environment, open source and ecosystem. We have to consider this from now. This journey, if you started now, it's going to take a couple of years to, to stage yourself at that, at that level. And you are later or sooner, you're going to come in a black application engine of standard of runtime of the cloud. There's a lot of repositories offered only in cloud. It's not offered in, in, in any uh, monolithic and all type of applications. The legacy applications almost going to go over the time. It's been transformed already into cloud. Some of them and some of them not still in the queue. You have a full freedom of data management, especially if you have big data, oil and gas, a lot of data, and how you can consume this data and you need high performance environment, high computing technology to facilitate your completely data processing and completely analytical environment where you want to feed and build your machine learning, deep learning and AI functionality that can be consumable and it's a, it's a rental model as well for you. Collaboration, security, all of these are really a major impact, which is forcing all these, you know, uh, uh, across industry, the application to transform into the cloud. So aside of that, the openness and ecosystem is one of the key factors people are moving into cloud. Some of the, for example, I was doing research, some of the banks have started from scratch without acquiring any monolithic and, and, and all legacy applications. They start opening using completely AWS open systems in Kubernetes and they build a completely banking system and they reach four and a half million customer on board in less than six months time. How you can do that with the ordinary bank? Of course not. Zero downtime. We haven't seen any cloud yet. It's been completely in free. So we are ODP is offering 99.98 SLA. This is our SLA. This is what we are offering you. So this is very important. You have to consider that one data park can facilitate a, all of this environment, we have a lot of redundancy across the data center, across the IaaS and PaaS and SaaS. So the message here, keep the cloud on demand, keep the cloud on demand and focus yourself, your resources completely to ODP. You can, you can shortcut off all these resources and take the benefits of ODP. ODP will, will facilitate for you all of these layers from, as I told you, application layer, platform layer, infrastructure layer, and data center layer. Focus this part, focus on your data, focus on your application, focus on your big data, how you can modernize that, how you can docker and containerize your application and focus on business. You know, banking as a service is one of the platform you can orchestrate with and you can do a lot of stuff. For example, oil and gas, is doing a lot of e-procurement. And right now the process is to go and open an LC, an LTR, and it's completely manual. Can I do it from my SAP application? Yes, you can. You can. You can facilitate. If you containerize that and you put an eco-environment around it, you can completely build that. And it's already done in a couple of models. So here, we have messages coming to you. Please focus on this part and leave all the rest to the cloud. This is another legacy environment showing you government, oil and gas, telecom, SME, fintech, health, all these, 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 these sectors wants to interconnect and, and try to communicate among with each other. The beauty of Oman Data Park, most of these sectors are already hosted with us. So the, the cost cutting of the telecommunication here is almost very rare because 
these systems are running in our data center. They can easily intercommunicate with them themselves. The only they th they need to is to modernize their application, open it in a way that orchestrate it with other application partners. So this layer is our power. This is the power of ODP by hosting all of these uh, vendors on board. This is another screen showing to you how the monolithic model was and how it's broken into microservices and middleware. And then you can consume it across different applications. So going back, after we offered for you the data center as a, as a service, after we facilitated you for you data center as a service, we move to the infrastructure as a service and platform. What is next? even we are containerizing for your environment. So even if you want a complete house for your container environment and microservices, we have that. We have it in two ways, for legacy and HPC, for both. So this can host HPC as well as as a legacy environment, plus legacy. So legacy, I mean, you need just normal CPU to process Kubernetes, or you need a Kubernetes with a very high performance and GPU to perform your containerization environment. And we're offering for you three platforms, Kubernetes, OpenShift, and Docker with the microservices. So when, when you're breaking down the monolithic applications, you need these technologies on board. And we're saying, don't waste your time. We have it, just, uh, just come and consume it. All the layers which we, uh, we have it across our environment is being audited and signed by different different bodies. And uh, our security team can highlight this. Uh, we have PCI DSS, we have a lot of ISO standard certifications. So these layers have been audited and it's been controlled by many other uh, third party companies also on, on regular time. So we're coming into why you need an HPC, why in high high performance computing environment. The, 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 the big companies such as oil and gas, they have a lot of data. They do a lot of scientific processing and legacy environments take a lot of time, especially now the IoT is coming on board and facility of AI, machine learning, machine, machine learning and deep learning is coming on board. So how we can utilize this power? Now we are staging this already technology for you and you can get a benefit of, of that. I have tested myself. The sum of the application, I was uh, consuming it with a 50 million record on OLAP, online analytical processing environment versus HPC. It was taking three weeks. When I examined it on HPC, it was varying between 15 seconds to half a minute. Imagine how fast was over 50 million record. And that's a very basic test. Imagine if you're doing a lot of scientific and chemical examination and testing and soil tests and so many things, a lot of data analytic. So, so here, HPC, HPC is going to help you in two ways, in hard performance, as well as data analytical, which is big data. Now, I don't want to go far uh, deep into this, but I'm just trying to tell you in short that we are offering CPU, GPU, and TensorFlow, and even, and, sorry, and even, ten, sorry, even TensorFlow. So we have CPU, GPU, and TPU that you can, TPU is a specific model for machine language within the AI that can be tailored for your application's needs. And here also we're offering a lot of libraries within the Python, we can consume it while you are staging the AI. This is another view which is showing you, this assume is your own regular environment, which you are hosting your virtual machines and you start building containers on your virtual machines to consume the application. What we are saying to you, no, we, you come and stage the container and process your applications. There's another way of looking at. Now, let's go about how I can use this. What is the typical HPC workload that can be covered? Astrofix is one of them, genetics, AI, big data, the financial, and it's been already consumed across all of these sectors, this HPC environment. So what is the choice for us here? Um, we're trying to position our HPC technology for different sectors, and we have a couple of models, which is going to uh, tailored for uh, finance, for uh, like some of them for oil and gas, healthcare, 
and of course maybe insurance and education sec sen, uh, sectors and what are example of this let's let's talk about example now suppose in oil and gas uh, completely uh, containers comes uh, on board and maybe container run equipments and it's barcoded or qr coded immediately system start recording uh, and immediately feeding this the the, the the back of the systems with all the informations here if you see the barcoded or microcoded and it can be done all of these detection damage detection and corrections ocr all of these can be done real time and here you need of course this technology is fed by iot and cameras in order to facilitate the hpc on 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 hardware delivery or equipment delivery another one can be a model can help the oil and gas for example if you want to examine your staff have already helmet on board and gloves and and try to inspect especially these days with it for safety and, 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 and regulation you want to control, still you can use this. Um, another model is showing HPC can be consumed, especially in inspections. So if you have big tower or any of mechanicals and you want to have a, like, a, uh, like a small helicopters, which is taking the cameras and going and start inspecting and looking where is the rust or damages happen across these towers and, and, and feed you directly. This is one of them. Of course, uh, uh, fossil uh, segmentation is already analytical of detecting the forest fuel uh, location. All of these applications already on board and has been presented by, by, by applications and vendors to accommodate HPC functionality. Uh, we also, uh, very interested about this, uh, especially uh, the, when you put uh, an, uh, cameras across uh, maybe, uh, let's say, uh, airport or any hypermarket and movement of the people, the temperature of the body is immediately has been measured. And if it's a high immediate defect to the security and his, the guy will be completely coated on sidetrack in order to make sure that uh, COVID infection is, is, is being controlled. Big data. There's a lot of potential of big data in analytics, okay? Uh, whereas you can use the uh, Oman Data Park HPC environment and it's scalable, you want like uh, one GPU, two GPU, up to you, number of GPUs which you need on demand, one month, two months, three months, do your processing, shut down and leave. So you can consume to process HPC and big data on demand for a specific time, a specific period, specific applications and then you leave. It's a, it, this is the model where we are offering it right now. So also another way you can put cameras across some places, if you see some of the weapons in a specific white, uh, you know, uh, like uh, uh, what's called the active uh, surveillance is there and uh, we're calling it uh, uh, weapons devices has been in hand. So he's going to analyze real time and fit security. There is something is going on wrong. So you can stage this. Usually this is for airports and maybe uh, banks, but it's still oil and gas can consume this technology as well. So the message is what? The message is there's a lot of transformation is happening into the cloud. And, and by the way, it's an ecosystem. The, you have to be part of this ecosystem. This transformation, which is happening across the API ecosystem is, is the communication. Oil and gas can communicate with government, with the bank, bank with insurance, insurance with healthcare, and all sectors start communicating among themselves. And the choice is here for you, is the transformation towards the HPC is one of them, Kubernetes is second of them, and cloud is of course underneath the technology, which is servicing the entire eco environment. Now, Said have already highlighted uh, this slide, uh, and I'm not going to take a lot of time, but I'm saying this portion about manage. Now, remember, I said the value added of ODP is in the manage. We we offering you two kind of environment, uh, two kind of set of services. One is manage yourself, so you come and take the IaaS or pass, and then you manage it yourself, or you want ODP to manage. We can do infrastructure management. We can do for you platform management, we can do for you application management, backup management, batch management, monitoring. We can monitor all equipment. If you call location, for example, I can monitor the power. 
but I cannot monitor your uh, hardware, but even the choice is open for you if you would like ODP to manage that and monitor uh, network monitoring, security monitoring. We have almost 600 customers on board and container service. So we simplifying, of course, it's not all the list. For manage, it's quite a big list, but in short, if you want to do it yourself, most welcome. You want us to do it, we can still add a value. And this is the, this is the power of ODP by offering professional services and managed services. So this slides, actually, we are not comparing Oman data park ourselves with the big giant, of course. But in Oman, we can say we are better than any other international. Number one, there was a question, what about my data and how that data can be protected? Your data is your assets. It's completely locked in Oman and it's in Oman Data Park Data Center. We're not touching your data. The message is here and we can commit. Oman Data Park is not touching your data. Oman Data Park is facilitating you all the technologies. When it comes to your data, it's your responsibility. We secure your data, we protect your data. We back up, you asset you to back up your data. We protect your data. So when it comes to the data, we are, we are saying this is our advantages. It is in Oman. We're not, we're not taking your data part of our big data analytics and, 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 and marketing and generating revenue of this. No, 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 not at all. Oman Data Park have no single entry into your data. If you lost your data, you, don't, you, you lost your password, it's your responsibility. So we will simplify for you, but we are not taking a responsibility in, in going directly into your data. It's your call. We are fulfilling the completely regulation of the country from the CBO, TRA, and any kind of regulation, compliance all 24 by 7 separate Oman data park across the 365 days. We're offering the managed services in Oman and completely secured in place. These play, these big buggers, of course, and players, they can't, I'm not saying they know, of course they are, but in Oman particularly, we're saying we have this advantage. Of course, Azure is here now, Azure is also in Oman. Azure is one, and you are protected. Your data is protected. So all the benefits of Azure also you can enjoy it from one data park. So your data is protected in Azure stack within one data park. Now, as a software, as I said, we have big list of software as a service. We have SAP B1. We have database. We are offering a lot of database. You don't need to set up the database. It's a server, serverless environment. So you can immediately stay in and uh, use your application, put your database and consume it. We are offering exchange service. We are offering a lot of web services for you and web portal from plus can see panel. We are offering you BI as a service. We are offering complete software development life cycle. We have transformed a couple of government sectors in, from nothing. We have built completely the application from scratch into the cloud. Uh, we are offering you storages. We SharePoint uh, projects, 365, and even Agile migration. We, there's a lot of customer was maintaining to Agile migration. Some was asking 365 migration. We are servicing a lot of Oracle environments and applications, databases, and data guards. We're protecting your data across multiple technology, Acronis, and as well as Veeam. We have e-sign e signature applications right now. It's already commissioned workspace for service, and this is still. And uh, not all, all of the list, but uh, this is what I have managed to cover it so far in the slide. We are certified uh, for a couple of buddies. And finally, this slide is also covered by Said. Security will take it more. Now, I hope that uh, this small, uh, you know, it was very short uh, time to cover very a lot of, uh, you know, cloud information. But, but the message in short is this, conclusion. Oman Data Park is here to facilitate for you and take control uh, of your, you know, of your complete IaaS pass and giving you a complete SLA 99.98, fast, very agile, uh, secured, partner with you for all kind of workload which you need it. In order uh, down the road is to simplify for you is it focus on your application and cut cost and be an agile. I hope that was informative, though it was very short and very fast. But uh, I'm open during the day if you have any question. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Hassan, for uh, the introduction of all our services and our rich portfolio. 
uh, and we truly appreciate it. I know the time was not enough uh, to cover uh, everything, but I think the message was loud and clear of the high value that ODP has uh, and uh, our role in the industry. Thank you so much.